evening. My name is Hamilton. This is my wife, Rose. Rose. And uh, we're at the Vegan Festival in Cocoa, Florida. Uh, Veg Fest 2018. Veg Fest. And uh, we we found out about this through my brother Paul, and uh, we felt impressed to come. And there's actually a quote from Ellen White that I felt really impressed to print out. And uh, you can see it here. It says, uh, in all parts of the world, provision will be made to supply the place of milk and eggs, and the Lord will let us know when the time comes to give up these articles. He desires all to feel that they have a gracious Heavenly Father who will instruct them in all things. The Lord will give dietetic art and skill to his people in all parts of the world, teaching them how to use for the sustenance of life the products of the earth. She said that actually in 1901. So she prophesied really this vegan movement that we see coming. So we said, okay, you know what? We're gonna go and we're gonna pass this out and we're also gonna pass The Great Controversy out, written by the same author, of course. Been super powerful. Uh, the Lord has set up divine appointments all day. Uh, you have to remember that uh, these, vegan, these people who are eating vegan, prophetically eating vegan at this time, they have clearer minds and they're, they're um, they seem to be more ready to accept truth. truth and looking. You know, God can speak to them more clearly because their minds are clear. And uh, which one would you like to talk about first? Yeah, we just want to share with you the experiences that we had so far. Um, we were able to get out seven great controversies. I don't think that's an accident. And uh, the, the great controversies that we gave out, we handed it out in a very personal way. Um, we were doing different different styles of, of witnessing. My brother was also handing handing many great controversies out to different people along with this uh, this bookmark. And so we just want to share some of the experiences with you. The first experience that we had, uh, we saw a guy and we actually recognized his face. And I was wondering where have I seen this guy before? I didn't I couldn't quite you know put a what is it put a pin to it. Yeah, just uh, I don't know the like where have I seen you from? Where have I seen you from? And you know. he was from uh, when we started eating vegan in 2015. He was one of the places from a place in Orlando called Mark's Caribbean. His dad was the uh, the owner. He was the owner. Yeah. And his dad uh, was cooking like different kind of meat things there, but he himself wanted to be vegan and he would make us special vegan plates. And sometimes we would talk to him and he told us that his brother was becoming a Seventh day Adventist and. Uh, told us some different things um, and we kind of witnessed to him a little bit. Well, it's been two or three years it's been now. three years. Three years now. And we see him and I'm like, man, this guy looks familiar, but I actually don't really remember how, where I know him from. And Hamilton knew exactly who he was and said, hey, you're from Mark's Caribbean. He said, yeah. He said, I used to help you guys eat vegan. I used to make the plates for you. And um, the way that he would cook it was really delicious, I remember. It was soy chunks and it was a uh, good portion. They moved locations, not as good anymore. Not the same, We right? had the original marks. Yes, but so this guy, uh, you know, we handed him this quote and he started looking at it intensely. He was really looking. He was really, he was looking, really at looking at it. You and could tell that he was, uh, he was intrigued. Truth, truth was shining. Yeah. We all recognize the voice of our father throughout our lives. Yes. We could hear it. And my brother handed him the great controversy and he started looking at it with, uh, I'm guessing his girlfriend, and, and they started looking at it and they were like, wow, this is interesting, you know? Because, you know, Ellen White said this in 1901 and we were in 2018. Over 100 years ago. And people were not eating vegan in 1901. So, you know, obviously it's prophetic. So, uh, we saw that and we just knew right away. And it's amazing because it was difficult getting here. Uh, we had some, some, some trials along the way. I mean, you know, um, actually we went to Office Depot to print these out and it was interesting because we saw this kid and I think he was number six on the list. Yes. Who got the book and the and the card. And he had he was a mixed kid, so he had like really crazy curly black and blonde hair and blue eyes and you know, he kind of looked a little bit like Ruby. And I spotted him out there, I was like, wow, that kid has some crazy hair. And, and then we see him here. We see and, him here. And we're literally in two different towns now. It's not an accident. Like, well, we're like an hour away or what? Uh, 30 minutes away. 30 minutes away. Okay. And he came here. He came event. here. He could so have went anywhere today. 
and he was a very smart kid and he said I love reading and, and the way he spoke was actually very eloquent for his age and I believe him he is going to read this book so that was another divine appointment yes and then we ran into an older man who was holding some uh, some chicken and this is interesting because it led to another divine appointment yes and so you want to talk about this older man his name was Harold Harold was the older man and um, Rose handed him a card and he's, he look, he's looking at the card and he he heard us saying some things, uh, some faith-based language, and he opened up to us. And it turns out that he had problems with his heart. He had so many surgeries, surgeries done that he had to have his, he had, he had 16 stents in his heart. He had open heart surgery. He had all these things, things done to his heart. And he was saying that doctors would tell him that there was nothing, nothing that could be done for him, and that he was he's a, reti he's a uh, retired veteran. And that when he went to the VA hospital, they already had everything set up for him to do another open heart surgery. And he said that the Holy Spirit told him to get out of that hospital. Right before he was going to have Right before he was going to do it, right. told him to leave the, get out of that hospital. And so another doctor that was inside the VA, God has his people everywhere, told him, you need to start eating uh, vegan. Gave him uh, a guide, gave his wife uh, a cookbook, yeah. and he said, see me back here in uh, two months. He's, and he said by two months. By two months. Six weeks to be precise. Yes. He said that he had, his his high blood pressure went from 190 to 150. That uh, his heart was working the, it, well better than it ever had been. Right. He couldn't believe it. He could not believe it. He couldn't believe it. He, he, he even told us. He said, you won't believe my story. And so it took time to listen to his story. I was amazed by it. It was truly a, a testimony. And he started talking about how he tells everyone in his church about this. And I'm thinking, wow. And the guy looked like a Seventh-day Adventist. You know, you could just yes. you could just sense it from him. And we said, have you ever read this book before? I was actually even surprised that he said he'd never read it before. I was like, no, you must have read this book before. Because <laughs> you look like you've never read it. Exactly. And so uh, he was very excited. He really uh, just opened up. He had a bright smile on his face. And, and he took it with joy. And he received it with gladness. He did. And uh, so that was one testimony that... The food that he was holding was something that he had gotten from a few uh, state, a few booths away. Which was that's where we started because I asked him, "Where right. did you get this? Where did food? you get this food? Where did you get the food?" And so we said, "Where did you get this?" And he said, "Oh, I got it over there." So we said, "Okay, we're gonna go over there." So when we went over there, uh, my brother handed this quote out to, to to another guy, and that guy was looking really closely at the oh. younger guy. He was like, "Wow, this is interesting," you know. And then, and then uh, Hamilton had him this book, and Hamilton was telling him, you know, there's a Sunday law that's coming. They're gonna, they're gonna combine church and state. And the guy was just like blown away. You could see it in his eyes. You could he see locked it in up. His face. He locked up. I mean, it was so thick, like you could feel it in the air, like yes. the spirit of God was yes. moving. And then, amazingly, after that, I run into my friend Bertha, who I haven't seen in a while, and she's holding the same vegan chicken. I said. Martha, where did you get that from? She said, oh, over there. And I said, I said, wow. And she said, she said, you're the one that's giving these out. And we said, yeah. And I'm thinking maybe someone else is giving them out too. She said, I saw one on his counter. And she told me uh, a few moments later that she had actually told the guy, you should read that book. Can you believe that? The we Lord enforced. actually did a follow-up with this man. And so clearly the Lord was moving. The weather is beautiful. It's not humid today, which is very rare. And it was actually very hot last week. Yes. And uh, amazingly, this place was super packed today. And somehow we were able to get a parking spot right in the front. Right when, right we, got when here. we came in. Just God wanted it. And, we'll so, and so we ran into multiple people. We ran into another Seventh-day Adventist I recognize. I, and uh, she said, how are you doing? And I told her a little bit about how I've been doing. And I, and I showed her this. And she said, let me have one of those. And I said, of course. And so the Lord has really been moving here today at VegFest 2018. We're blessed to share these testimonies with you. The Lord is moving. God is impressing it upon people's hearts everywhere around the world. Not only the, the vegan movement, but what's going to happen on this, on this earth. They know. People can feel it. Whether they have been studying the Bible, they can sense that something's in the air. And yes. they, they answer it. And God needs more workers in the field to spread this truth. People are just taking it. They're just taking They're it. Just taking we it. ran into another lady, a Puerto Rican lady. And uh, I kind of had a feeling that she was probably Puerto Rican. And as we started talking, 
Uh, we bought one of her things. She makes uh, different dips out of emulsified garlic. Yeah, tapenades. And, and it was very delicious. She gave us a sample and we bought one and I told her, hey, we want to give you this book. We also want to give you this quote. Did you know that this vegan movement is actually prophetic? That Ellen White actually wrote about it? And she she took it with gladness and she, she started telling me, she said, she said, uh, you know, she started telling me the world needs the Bible. She started talking to me about the Bible. She said she's a Christian. She lives in the area. And uh, she was very open. She said, I'm going to read the book. She loved it. She was just ecstatic about it. And so God has really been moving here. We wanted to share these beautiful testimonies with you. Be encouraged. Right now, it's a time of uh, the devil is trying to discourage us. Be encouraged. Yes. God is on the move. He's on the move. People are leaving their jobs. Even the cameraman Paul here for the day, this makes you a cameraman, he left his job this week. All of heaven is rejoicing. They're looking for more people to have faith and let God do what he has said he would do in his word. And you know, I will admit, I was actually intimidated today when I first came over here. The devil was putting thoughts of doubt in my mind, thinking people aren't going to take the book, they're going to throw it away. They're not even going to like this. They're going to say, what's this piece of trash? You're going to see it on the floor. These were the thoughts going out of my mind. And God was working anyways. And we had positive after positive after positive experience. I haven't even had positive experiences like that in a while. And, and I can tell you that the Lord is leading people different places. Amen. And, and we clearly saw that today. So be encouraged. God bless. This has been The Two, two Witnesses. witnesses.